hi guys welcome back again welcome back to my channel to my returning subscribers you're welcome and if you're coming across this channel for the first time you're welcome this is cassia Conai. i will come back to my channel guys guys as you can see from the title of this video we are celebrating easter here in africa here in nigeria guys i'm so so excited i'm so excited guys so happy easter from me to you guys Come my madness don't you tell me what I supposed to do You're better off with them So my sister will go ahead and do the dishes And um, some things are cooking here And we'll soon make more fire Here As you can see Here And cook Okay So so, I want to kill the other chicken, but I won't show the process because of my right people. And my right, sorry. <laughs> but they will come for me. <laughs> and this papa here, I want to slice and eat first. Before, why I wait for the food to get ready. And that papa, I love to eat the ripe one, this really ripe one, but my sister prefers to eat this one. So, this one is for her. Like I told you guys, whenever I come to my village, there is always something to eat. So the kids went ahead to clean up the chicken. This is it. They cleaned it up really, really good. So they went ahead to clean the chicken. And this is the chicken. We have to open it up and remove the intestine and the rest and prep it. So that is yeah. it. And um, this is it. You are cooking something here also outside. So guys, you can see this is how basically how we are, we celebrate our Easter. We just cook as a family, and we eat as a family. So on the other hand, my sister is busy preparing the white rice. So this is how we cook our white rice here. We parboil it first. On the other hand, I'm also preparing the spices. I'll be doing to prep the chicken with to sauce the chicken. So. That is it. We do everything together here as a family. Everyone gets involved in the cooking. Guys, let me know in the comment section how you do your cooking in your village. Do everyone get involved or do you have a particular people that cook the food? So guys, so guys, I cut the banana leaves because I want to put the meat on top of the banana leaves. Just place it like this. These banana leaves serves us a lot here in Africa. Also people in Asia. We use these banana leaves a lot, at times as a plate for eating, or at times to put meat like this or anything you're doing. It serves us a lot. So guys, I went ahead to prep the garlic I want to use for marinating the chicken. So this is our chicken. It's quite small, but it's something. It's okay. My sister, don't finish washing the rice. Don't finish washing it up. Mm. Uh, so go ahead, uh, go ahead and add salt. And of course, this is another cooking going up here. <laughs> so the ingredient for the spice I'll be using. I'll be using Benny. We are using two, two chicken, two full chicken. So I'm using this. I'm using one chicken glory. That is, I mean, kitchen glory. That is chicken flavor. I'll be needing using garlic. More garlic. This is rosemary. Thyme. See, I want to see. I bought this yesterday from the market. This is very leaf. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, ginger. Mm -hmm. And guys, of course, we need, need ginger also. I need to prep to spice, spice up the chicken. So guys, after prepping the ingredients I need and the spices I need to my the chicken, we went ahead to wash it. Wash it very, very, very well. As you can see, we wash the chicken and put them inside the pot. And this is me getting ready to marinate the chicken as fellows. <laughs> so, 
guys as you can see this is it i cut the onion very important so guys onion is a major ingredient i use to marinate chicken and also beef i love adding them to my proteins and this is it i added the onion to the chicken and i went ahead to add the garlic the pepper and also the blended ginger and i also went ahead to add my bay leaves for additional flavor i went ahead to also add my rosemary thyme i love it also so much i won't love the fresh ones but i couldn't get my, hand the, my hands on the fresh ones so i got the dried ones so i went ahead to add the seasoning powder that is um, Benny and Kitchen Glory. This is how I marinate. I want to have to massage it like this. To massage the ingredients so it will get into the chicken properly. So it will have a very nice taste. So I want to have to add a little salt. And of course, seasoning cubes just two. Because I already added the powdered um, seasoning already. So that is it. I said to massage it also, massage it very, very well, guys. Then I added a little water, and it's time for me to put it on the fire, <laughs> guys. Please, if you're enjoying this video this far, please like this video. It's time for you to like it, give us a heavy thumbs up, guys. And let's continue. So, guys, my firewood was almost finished, it was only almost burning out, so I had to go get new ones. And uh, my relatives around helped me. So this is me adding more firewood so that the meat will boil properly. <laughs> So guys, while we wait for the food to done or to get cooked, we'll just snack on this popcorn here and this hibiscus juice here. <laughs> okay, so guys, we'll go ahead and snack on go ahead and snack on this. Jasper! I thought it's Make soft one for you.
Guys, we are done frying the chicken and it was time for us to start preparing the stew. Preparing the stew, guys. So, I didn't even tell you guys what we are preparing today. Okay, we are preparing rice and stew. Rice, white rice and or with tomato stew and chicken with also coleslaw. That's what we are preparing today. Sorry guys, I didn't tell you guys in the beginning of the video. This is how we prepare stew here in Nigeria. We first heat up our granite oil or vegetable oil, some used sunflower oil. So you heat up your oil, you add your chopped onion. After having your chopped onions, then you add tomato paste. So I don't use tomato paste, but today we are using tomato paste and also we are also making use of fresh tomatoes. So we are combining the two tomato paste and fresh tomatoes but before you add tomato paste you go ahead and you add the fresh tomatoes you go ahead to add to fry your tomato paste for so that it doesn't taste sour then we go ahead to add our seasoning powder that is spicy tea mind you this spicy tea doesn't have salt taste it's just for flavor i'm not adding any chicken flavor to it because i already, I already marinated the chicken with some seasoning already some chicken seasoning so guys, this is it. I fry for some minutes, some fry for 15 minutes, some fry for 20 minutes. But after frying, go ahead to add your curry powder. You can also choose to put your curry leaf, the fresh curry leaf. But today I'm making use of curry powder. You go ahead to add this chicken. And the chicken, this one I'm adding is the boiled one. I didn't fry this part of the chicken. So I had to add them. And stay. So guys, that is basically how we cook it. Then add some water, add our fresh tomatoes, fry them together, and let it cook for 30 minutes until it's a bit dried up to give it that lovely flavor. And the water we added, mind you, isn't water. We added the the chicken stock to it instead. You understand? The chicken stock to eat not on narrow water but in the situation where you don't have chicken stock you can add water so this was added chicken chicken stock and also i would try to add green pepper or popsicorn for extra flavor guys look at how your meat it looks guys so guys like this video like this video guys, guys over here my sister is okay. prepping this salad we're using cabbage and um, carrots. So we just say coleslaw. We also be adding baked beans to it. So guys, let's, let's wait for to finish to finish cutting so we can start making the salad. So we are done with the salad or the coleslaw in a minute. So I will go ahead and mix this cheese. In charge of the salad today and I'm in charge of the meat and the cooking and my mom also is in charge of also the cooking and that's how we just we're all busy even the kids are busy we are all all hands are on deck that is why I love 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 traditional cooking a lot you can't just be idle where the cooking is going on everyone has to partake and get involved so after that we had to dish the kids on first because in this my in my village we we, we serve the kids first before the adults so we went ahead to dish the kids food serve them like this added their salad and voila everything is ready and they're here eating and having fun while i go prepare my own food so that i can have fun also and enjoy the easter so guys let me know in the comment section how you celebrate easter in your hometown if you enjoy celebrating easter in your hometown so guys this is perfect time for you to like this video subscribe to this channel for more content like this and i will see you guys in my next video happy easter once again from me to you and your family love you guys so much Bye bye. Hey.